Hey there, this is Cyril Jeet, your friend in internet marketing and in this video I'm going to show you how to import lists into List Janitor and clean them very very quickly. So when you run List Janitor, when you load it up, you will see a screen like this. In the top part of the screen, you will see all the lists that you import and in the bottom part, you will see the records or the emails in those lists. So let's get started by importing a list. We'll, we'll click on the import button right over here and that will load up the import list dialog box you can import any file you want and this file for instance has 61 records this is the file name this is the file path click on it and you will see all the emails in this file and now we can quickly check whether these emails are valid or not to do that simply click on the start checking button at the top the play icon click on it and list janitor is now checking those emails it's doing a number of checks and you can see the little status bar which will tell you exactly how much time is left so the check is now done and you can see the mails and the mails in red are the ones that have the error and you will also see the exact error why they are rejected so this one for example is a role world this one is not valid email syntax this one the server didn't respond this is a duplicate mail and all the mails that have been rejected will be in red and you can quickly save the mails that are verified by going to the export button and then you can click on export valid to csv which will valid which will export only the valid mails to csv only the mails in green and for some reason if you want to keep the invalid mails for further analysis you can click on export invalid to csv and this will save the invalid mails to a csv file similarly you can also save to text format for both these settings and you can export the entire list if you want to export the entire list to csv you can do that too so this is the very very quick and amazingly accurate checking function of list janitor pro but that's not all that it has it has a lot more so you've got these tools you've got tools that will allow you to merge two lists so if you want to merge two lists you can do so if you want to subtract one list from another find common addresses or find unique addresses you can do all of that so let's do that let's import one more list into this let's just import this one this has nine addresses let's try merging two lists so if you click on merge two lists you can select the first list and then you can select the second list and then the new list that you're making you can give it a name so let's call it all and click ok so now you will get a new list and remember in this list you will get only the addresses which are unique to both lists so in that particular case in this particular case we had 61 addresses in one list and nine addresses in the second list but if we put them both together we get a total of 63 addresses which means in the second list there were only two new addresses so you do not duplicate anything you get a new compound list with all unique addresses that is the power of list janitor merging that's not all we also have subtract list so if you want to subtract one list from another you can do that click on subtract list then let's say we want to click we want to subtract something from all and we want to subtract rotten from all and we want to give it a new name let's call it test 3 click on ok and you will get a new new list with all those emails subtracted so we had 63 mails total and we subtracted nine email addresses which were in rotten which were also a part of all we got 54 addresses left so that way you can split lists and you can uh, you know separate list very easily so suppose you've got a front-end product with 100 sales and then some of the buyers have also brought an upgrade let's say 50 buyers have bought an upgrade and you want to identify the buyers who have not bought an upgrade and give them a special offer on the upgrade maybe a special price you can do that with list janitor that's not all list janitor has much more we've got domain stats so if you click on domain stats select a mail and click on domain stats you will be able to see exactly how your email list is structured you can see exactly how much each domain how many mails each domain has and you can scroll through the entire list if you want you can export the list from a particular domain let's say i want to keep a separate list of all the people who are on gmail from this particular list i can just click on 
create sublist and I will get a sublist of all the people who have Gmail IDs from my from the list that I checked. Similarly, you've got other options, things like so creating sublist. You can create sublist by count. So, for example, let's take the all list and let's create a sublist by count. Let's take the first 10 records from this list and create another list. Click on get and you have 10 records from the list. Click on OK and you have a new list with just 10 records from that particular complete list so that way you can segment list into different portions into different groups into different numbers import them or send them a mail from any smtp you also get sublist by domain so if you want to isolate a particular domain you can do that you can also create a list of duplicates so if you will have this list and you want to uh, create a list of all the duplicates you can do so here are all the duplicates if you click ok you will get a new list of just the duplicate mails similarly you can also create a list by date range and this is when you import a csv file we have imported a text file which does not have a date column but when you import a csv file from an autoresponder it will also have the sign up date and using this option you will be able to actually shortlist all the people who sign up in a certain date and that can be very powerful because you can split do your list into dates and you can mail all the fresh people or you can mail all the older people whatever you want and you can also pick up any column from your csv file and filter people according to that so then if you have a column let's say for country you can identify all the people who are from a particular country so all of that can be very powerful it really really puts your email marketing into a very flexible zone with a very strong targeting element and you can use all these features to get more profits from email marketing i hope you understood how amazing list Chandra pro can be for your email marketing and you'll be using it very very regularly to give your email better targeting and to get better response from your emails Needless to say, the email lists that are cleaned by, e by List Janitor can be imported much more easily into any autoresponder and if you decide to mail them using any professional SMTP like SendGrid or Amazon SES or uh, smtp to go or uh, SMTP.com or MailGun or whatever you want, then also the rejection rate is going to be very low and you'll be able to mail your list without any banning or without any hassles so make sure when you're about to mail something when you're about to mail a new list you clean your list with list janitor